Hi, I'm Kayla with CheapHumidors.com and today I am reviewing the Padilla Fumas Maduro Churchill. It is a 7 inch by 50 ring gauge. It is a Maduro wrapper. The binder isn't listed and the filler is a mixture of Honduran and Nicaraguan mixed fillers. It is listed as a medium to full strength stick. You can see that the wrapper leaf is a little mottled, not exactly the best quality, but that's to be expected in a Fuma stick. Uh, for those of you who don't know, a Fuma or a Fumas is Spanish for smoke, but it also is the name given to manufacturer selected sticks. So things like this are made from the tobacco left over from normal runs from a specific brand. So this would have been made from the leftover cigars or the leftover tobacco leaves and the snippets of tobacco leaves from the regular Padilla lines. So a lot of manufacturers make these Fumas cigars and for the most part uh, they're super cheap, usually mixed filler, uh, long and short filler. And I kind of go with the adage where you have to kiss a lot of frogs to find your prints. Well you have to smoke a lot of Fumas cigars to find one that works for you you usually either get a super amazing deal on something and it's your go-to smoke or it's absolute crap and you can't stand it. So I've never tried this this brand before so we're gonna give it a go. It of course is mixed filler so the length is a little bit spongy with some soft spots to it and that wrapper leaf is again mottled and veiny but it cut pretty cleanly. There were some little tidbits of tobacco that came out of the punch hole. Again, to be expected with a mixed filler stick. So I'm going to light it up and see how it smokes. All right, we are about a third of the way in. <clears throat> and so far the draw has been excellent and produced tons of smoke. The burn line is fairly even. It does ash quite often and it's nice and flaky, but that's to be expected with the mixed filler. The Pre-light aroma was pretty bland on the wrapper, but the foot was really pungent and earthy. The cold draw was nice and open with not a lot of flavor. The first few puffs were a bit acidic, <clears throat> but that faded fairly, fairly quickly and left a nice cocoa sweetness to it, which has been pervasive throughout the first third. So I will finish it up and come back with my thoughts. All right, the total smoking time was about an hour and 20 minutes. The burn line remained pretty even throughout. The ash dropped often. The flavor profile remained pretty consistent. Nice cocoa notes and some sweetness to it, along with some earthiness. All in all, I would definitely say it is a medium strength stick, not at all overwhelming. Not a lot of peppery notes, so it could be joy enjoyed by people who like mild or medium sticks. And it's definitely a good stick. It's not anything lavish or attention grabbing, but it's definitely something that I would smoke again. So it's definitely a, uh, a good deal. I would, I would recommend giving it a try.